So now what we're gonna do is what I call speed skaters. Very explosive exercise, man. Work your whole lower body and automatic cardio, man. It's like speed skaters when you're in the Olympics and you come around that curve with a leg behind here and all this is going to work. Great glute work, man. So you how it go. Remember to be explosive. Remember to be explosive. We're not dancing, we're exploding. And the better you get at it, you touch the ground every time. I'm called speed skaters. And we're gonna team that up with some lunges. We went from working this, now we're gonna work this. So we work this, which are the glutes. Then we work the quads. Now we're gonna work the chest. Push-ups, simple exercise, everything you can do at home, man. Remember, you got everything you need already. So now let's just say you do have minimal equipment at home. You got a jump rope, add the jump rope. You got some light dumbbells, that's even better. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna grab the dumbbells, add a little something to it, like a plot twist in the middle of a movie, that's gonna really throw you off and get you ready. All right, so as you can see, got these 20 pound dumbbells. Typically, I will lift more, but these are for teaching and educational and promotional purpose only. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna simulate the typical female will have anywhere from five to seven to eight to 10, 12 or maybe 15 pound dumbbells. And what we're gonna do is show you a quick home circuit if you just got dumbbells and you, which is perfect. All right, so we will start out military press. Remember the mind muscle connection. Where the mind flows, that's where the blood flows. You would do, let's just say about three sets of 10, three sets of 12. Depends on how heavy your weights are. If they're too light, you're gonna do more reps. If they're a little bit more difficult, do less reps. After that, you go to what we call upright rows. Start at your mid thigh, come up to your chin. All right, so when doing the upright rows, remember to pause at the top to recruit all those muscles that's up there. That pause is real important because when you hold it, that's when the muscles are contracted and they stay there, so they're more likely to stay, more likely to stay there afterwards. That's what you're trying to do. Y'all was trying to look like you're not struggling, but you're trying to look like you're working out even though you're not working out to keep that, keep that body that you want. All right, so after that, what we'll do, as we'll bend over, slightly keep your knees slightly bent, and come up, squeeze at the top. This is called also a roll, not upright, but a bent over roll. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna target that area where we have that back fat, especially women who really worry about the cosmetic parts of their bodies and the visible things that make them look more appealing and sexy. So remember to squeeze to hit the part area where there's typically a lot of back fat. We're trying to eliminate that, trying to get you the best birthday suit that you can ever have. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get them same dumbbells. With this exercise, you really need them to be as light as possible. This is called the lateral raise. You're coming up. Remember, squeeze at the top. 
gonna recruit the muscles that you're working. That's called a lateral race. So what we do, we're working the whole shoulder and the back. Remember, it's impossible to only work one muscle because everything is connected, just like life. If you're in shape, your life gonna be in better shape. So remember, everything connected. So if you're working this, you're also working what's connected to this. So just keep that in mind. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab these little even lighter weights, these are eight pounds. Now we're gonna really work that area back there so when you're in your swimsuits or your birthday suits, your back is looking the best and your rear delts are looking the best. We'll start right here. Come straight back, keep your arms straight. We're not bending them. Keep your arms straight and work your rear delts. So the weights are real light on this exercise because this is a very small muscle group that you hardly ever utilize. But, gotta, but the thing about building your best birthday suit, you gotta pay attention to detail. It's not only the muscles that you visibly see and think about, but the ones that you don't think about that really top off your frame and make you look the best you can look. 25 muscles, building better birthday suits.